Welcome. This is a video presentation of the paper, The Origin of Matter and Gravity, What They Are and Why They Exist, Part 3, Using the Coity Relation in Examining the Validity of the Particle Radius. We will be looking at comparing real particles to the ideal particle. The radii of real elementary particles, like the electron and up and down quarks, are different from that of the ideal particle. The hyperverse model suggests a possible internal structure of elementary particles, which we will discuss in the paper and videos on the conceptual model of particle structure. The difference between different types of particles is likely related to the interaction of the component quanta. Their spin orientations are presumably fixed with collapse so that the spin of adjacent quanta within a particle vary from particle type to particle type. This would result in varying amounts of attraction or repulsion between the quanta comprising a particle, changing the particle density and size. Just as the ideal particle radius is the geometric mean of the small energy quantum radius, the radius of a real particle would be the geometric mean of its reduced Compton wavelength. Let's look at the example of the electron. R sub b is the radius of the electron. And by way of a geometric mean approach, this is the initial radius squared, the 4 times the Planck length squared. And we're going to divide it by the reduced Compton wavelength of the electron, h bar divided by the mass of the electron times the speed of light. And we get that the radius of the electron is equal to 4 times the gravitational constant divided by the speed of light squared times the mass of the electron. We can plug in our values, mass of the electron being here, and we find that R sub e, the radius of the electron, is equal to approximately to 2.7 times 10 to the minus 57 meters. Let's look at the mass to radius ratio of the electron. And we take the mass of the electron here times our value of the radius we just calculated. And we get 3.367 times 10 to the 26th kilograms per meter. And if we look at the ratio of the ideal particle mass, to the ideal particle radius, we get the same value, 3.367 times 10 to the 26 kilograms per meter. And looking at the ratio of the mass to the radius of the observable universe, we get 3.367 times 10 to the 26 kilograms per meter, which matches the initial condition, the mass to radius ratio of 3.367 times 10 to the 26 kilograms per meter. So the equation for the radius of the electron is consistent with the ideal particle radius. So let us test the radius and mass relationship that we have using the Coity formula. Yoshio Coity in 1982 found an amazing relationship between the masses of the electron the muon, and the tau electron. As a test of the validity of the geometric mean of the Compton wavelength of the elementary particles as the radius of particles, we can run our proposed radius and mass relation through the Coity equation. The Coity relation says that if you take the mass of the electron, the muon, and the tau particle, or tau electron, and add them, they equal two-thirds times the square root of the mass of the electron plus the square root of the muon plus the square root of the tau squared. We can use our geometric mean derived radii for these particles in the Coity equation. From a few slides ago, we saw that the radius of a particle is equal to 4 times the gravitational constant times the speed of light squared times the mass of the particle. And instead of putting the mass 
of the electron or mass of the muon or mass of the tau here, we'll put the radius in these locations for each of these particular particles. And in doing so, we find our term up here reduces to the Coide equation. Interestingly, or expectedly, we can flip it so that we insert the mass values instead of the radii, rearranging our equation of the particle radius to display the mass as such, and inserting this term in place of the masses. We get this, which reduces to the sum of the radius of the electron, muon, and tau particle equaling this term over here. And testing using the calculated radii confirms the identity. And this is what we did a few slides ago when we inserted this term here, which is the radius, into the Coide equation. Using the Compton radii in the Coide equation does not work. This is our Coide equation. We'll take the first half here. And we plug in our values, we plug in our mass values into these uh, Planck relations. We get 3.88 times 10 to the minus 13th meters. The second half here, if we plug in our values for the reduced Compton wavelength of the electron, muon, and tau, we get about 3.039 times 10 to the minus 13th meters. These are not equal. They're off by a ratio of about 1.77. We cannot use the Compton radius in the Coide equation as a replacement for mass, like we can do with the geometric mean radius value. So we will propose that the Coide relationship applies to radii as well as masses.